hold you guys out of dinner for any reason. In fact, anybody wants, I'll buy everybody dinner in here. It just, uh, I was a little concerned about, uh, until 10 o'clock last night, I felt pretty good. And then uh, when that stuff came across the air for the first time that we were a bubble team, to be honest with you, I was shocked and um, haven't slept since. But, uh, you know, it was one of the most uh, anxious days of my career. Um, and it's, uh, the sitting back and waiting is really something. Um, you know, I haven't had to do that that many times. And, but you can't do anything about it. Uh, it's different than waiting for a big game. It's waiting for, you know, your, your future, it seems like. And uh, the other thing is, if we would have been in a playoff game, a play-in game, I should say, we'd have been leaving tomorrow. So even today, we practiced a little bit. We're trying to figure out what we wanted to do. Um, I think the hardest part of the uncertainty is really getting the criteria down, you know. And you probably, like me, have no idea what it is. The only thing I feel really good about, for 29 years, we've tried to schedule some of the best non-conference uh, teams. You know, a little different this year. When you when you look at a Butler, we don't even get any credit for it. But when you look at Oakland, so proud and happy for Greg Camp. You, you look at Indiana State, who missed getting in by an eyelash, and most of the reasons they missed getting in is what that bizarre day yesterday brought. You know, when you look at that, it uh, that's what caused all the anxiety last night. Um, I felt good if you, if you believe in the net. I felt good if you believe in the strength of schedule. I just never know which one is really valid. So the criteria makes you struggle even more. And, and yet, uh, the other thing is when you play a team, you know, a team like Wisconsin was so hot when we played them. Then they go lose seven out of nine, and then they're so hot at the end. So a lot of factors, um, really none of them matter right now. I'm just happy that every time I'm about to kill KP and and get rid of our, you know, very tough non-conference schedule, um, something rears its head to say, just keep doing what you've been doing, and it'll work out. And, uh, you know, could we have done more? 100%. I mean, I don't look at this as an overachieving year. I don't look at it as a total underachieving year. But I mean, it's it has not been the year that I was hoping it would be. Uh, and yet, it were three, four, three, four wins, and I mean, very winnable wins. And then all of a sudden, you look at these these uh, brackets, and you could be a five, six seed. So that's how. Tough it is right now. Um, you know, we lost so many games by a sh small number of points. But guess what? The uncertainty's over. Um, now we're playing, and uh, we got Mississippi State. And after a nerve wracking, crazy night, it's time to talk to you guys and then get to go to work. And uh, I've already gotten three texts from buddies of mine in the league that said, uh, you know, very tough team and bring your hard hat. And so uh, I've seen them a couple times just in watching, but I really haven't seen them. Some of my players from the East, AJ and, and uh, Tyson know a couple of the guys on the team. So we will go to work now till 8.30, quarter nine, bring our team back, go over some personnel, go over some little bit of the film. And getting an extra day is really big because I thought if we had to play in one of those play-in games, it would just really screw up the week. So, enough on me. I'm, I'm I am excited. I'm. Uh, it's hard to believe that 27. Well, I guess it's 26 out of 29 years, but I'm still counting cash as this year we were in. Um, it is hard to believe, and uh, this one was a little more strained, but it was all the sweeter once it happened. Describe your feelings and emotions when you found out that you were not going to be in Dayton and you were actually in the tournament and you were a nine seed. It wasn't great. I mean, once I found out we were a nine seed, but when I found out we weren't in Dayton, I said, uh-oh, you know, I mean, we're not in. All or nothing. 
yeah, all or nothing. So, uh, and then of course, you know, like they would have it, you know, we have to be in the almost the last bracket at the last, the West Coast and uh, made me sit and wait and Alan was up there, president was there and players and, uh, but I felt relieved once they called our name and when I saw nine, I didn't care what we were. I really, really didn't. I didn't want to be in the play-in game if I didn't have to just because of logistics of everything. But uh, going to Charlotte, I'll go see Miles and hopefully, and uh, you know, who knows? I'll know more about Mississippi State in the wee hours of the morning tonight. Tom Malik, we're going to understand they feel like they played pretty much a lot of high-level teams over the last couple of years, and they've kind of seen a little bit of everything. I mean, how kind of veteran or battle-tested do these group kind of feel at this point? Well, they're battle-tested, you know, and some of the battles we lost. But uh, some of the battles we were right there, and we played against a lot of different kinds of teams when I, when I think about it. And uh, just the, the thought of, you know, a physical game, I mean, that, I mean, we just played in a, a football game on hardwood so um i'm not you know concerned about that i heard they're very athletic and like i said i know very little about them probably tomorrow or the next day whenever we meet again i'll give you a lot better rundown but right now i'm just i'm just happy we're in i'm happy we have an opportunity to keep playing i'm hoping we can use the experiences we've had to put some things together and uh see where it takes us Tom, congratulations on continuing the historic streak. Um, you talked about the uncertainty just really came, um, but was that, uh, is it a relief now that there was some pressure that may have been lingering back games and times that we've come talk to you before with everyone talking about what's going on and what's happening? You know, I mean, this is how goofy I am. I, I thought after we beat Northwestern at home, at least most of the people I talked to felt like we were all but in. Then we beat Minnesota. And I felt even better than we gave, you know, Purdue the game we did. And I, I mean, I did feel like we were in. And then I, watching TV at 10 o'clock last night, I went to the hockey game with my guys. And, uh, and I went over a friend's house for a little bit. And all of a sudden it popped up, a bubble team. And uh, that was too bad because it really ended the sleep for, got up this morning and, uh, Tried to make some calls to try to figure things out, and I—that's I, the only thing I struggle with with our, you know, stuff—is what is the true, real criteria? It's really hard, you know. Some make a big deal out of the net, some make a big deal out of Ken Palm, some strength of schedule, some wins and losses, um, and it's—that's uh, what made it nerve-wracking. But as they say, when you go through it and it's nerve-wracking, and you come out on the right side you have a better appreciation for it. And for me, um, after all these years, there's been two or three that I've had to sweat it out a little bit. I wouldn't have sweated this one out any more than a couple other ones until last night. And uh, yeah, it was interesting night to say the least. So can you remember the last time you were this nervous on Selection Sunday? I think there was one time, uh, I think it was when Miles was here. Maybe not. Uh, freshman year, we had all those injuries, remember? And uh, but I think we ended up in eight or nine, right? Yeah, the COVID year. But I, I did think we'd get in. But that's right, we were in the play in then, and we're a thirteen point lead over UCLA, who went to a Final Four. So there hasn't been many of them, and I'm, uh, I owe that to all the players that played here, man. They. They took care of me, and uh, and now you know it was one, but maybe this will light a fire under all of us and, and get us going. Yeah, I know you weren't crazy about the way the Purdue game was officiated, but now that it's over, are you glad you had a fist fight? If your friends tell you you got to bring a hard hat to this game, can it help you? Yeah, I think it can. But I, you know, I think playing in this league helps you. You know, you, you, you got some teams. Wisconsin's always tough. Um, Nebraska's a a new tough team, I mean, um, but nobody more so than Purdue, of course. And uh, But, you know, we have had some battles with some teams. Uh, Maryland is a very physical team. Um, so that part of it's been good. And then yet we played some of the other teams, you know. We've played a team from the ACC. Um, 
We have played a team from the, we didn't play a team from the S, oh, Tennessee in the exhibition, and, and this team got Tennessee, right? So I'll have something to compare. I mean, that, that's the reason for the scheduling, you know. And if you could get by, you got North Carolina, we played Duke. You know, it's always good to play somebody that uh, you can relate. It's not the same team, but you can see how they played them. You can get a lot of things you can pick up from there. And uh, So that's what these nights will be for. It'll be great. I wish that I got a little more sleep last night, but I don't mind not having sleep. That's why you die, have sleep. Wondering about the last maybe month and a half. Uh, you know, there's been points where you looked like a team that can beat anybody, and then the games that kind of fell apart. I, I guess from a mental standpoint from this team, uh, how does it put it together? Where does it yeah. most maybe maybe upstairs need to put things together now that the next loss is the last loss? Yeah. Well, I, I think our guard play is our guard play. That was supposed to be the strength at the beginning. And, uh, you know, as I told you, we're all blaming the bigs, and our bigs have played okay, you know, uh, not great at times. We don't have the luxury of just throwing in scoring, although with Jackson coming back a little bit more, that helps. Uh, with uh, Book now starting, we're starting to use him in different ways. It helps. But the strength of the team was always going to be the three guards, and then what can Malik do after the injury? Malik's done more than his part, um, more than his part. I've been so pleased with him offensively, defensively. He's got to rebound a little better, but he's a physical kid, and uh, that's going to help us in this game. So um, our guys got to play well. We got to make some shots. You know, I mean, it's really no different. Uh, you know, it'll be a it'll be a game where uh, you still got to defend in the NCAA tournament. You still got to rebound. I don't know any of their stats yet, but I will know them a little later. Tom, you told us about sort of your mental space uh, over this last hour. Just what did you observe in the room from your players or detect or sense just what, how, that, how that room was as the show went on? You know, you know and, I, and again, um, I, for the most part, especially the last few years, I've always invited a lot of people in. And I didn't do that with a lot of people, not just media, because, um, you know, I didn't know how it was going to go, if you want the truth. Um, and to my surprise, the cheers and the shouts and the clapping, it actually felt refreshing because we've done it so many times that I think, un unfortunately, sometimes we take it for granted. And uh, I know deep down what it meant to me, and I think, and listening and watching them, I think it meant more to them than I sometimes think. So that was actually a plus, if you want the truth. teams in the country have a lot of seniors you've got a few prominent ones can 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 that help you in this well I, I don't know what you mean by seniors I would I would be willing to disagree with you and I don't know this with their team but I know they have one freshman that plays a lot for sure but most of these teams don't have seniors they have 50 or 60 year grad students great grad students um, you know they've got I mean, there aren't many freshman, sophomore teams, if that's what you mean. Um, so, you know, but I do think that's an advantage for us. I do think, you know, their experience, and to be very honest with you, my experience and my staff's experience. Can that help? We're going to find out. But uh, it was just so great to see the name, you know. I mean, you know, you, you sit there, and I think everybody was nervous. I didn't hear from many people today. You know, I didn't hear from many people. And uh, usually I'm hearing from everybody. But that thing hit, and Draymond Mateen and, and Antonio, and it went right down the list, you know. And it's so cool to be at a place where they're so excited for you and for the program and for the players. And um, God, I, I love that. That's why I've never left. And uh, we got to get something done, too. I mean, we. We played good enough to play with a lot of people. We played good enough to beat some people. We played inconsistently enough to lose. Not, you know, we don't have any bad losses if you really looked at it. Um, and and some of our losses, I think we had a 12 and a 14 point loss. Other than that, you know, I mean, Kansas just had a 30 point one. You know, other than that, 
I mean, those games were right down to the wire in the last three minutes. Even games that ended up seven points, they were three points. We were up. They were two points. We were down with a minute and two minutes left, whether it be Indiana, whether it be Purdue just now, um, whether it be those teams earlier, like uh, Illinois uh, on the road or Minnesota on the road. But, but that's what disappoints me most with a veteran coach and a veteran guard backcourt. You should be able to take care of that business. We've been good enough defensively. We have not always been good enough shooting the ball. And uh, so maybe we'll shoot all night and not worry about anything else. But I appreciate you all. I mean, it's been a, an interesting year um, when it's all said and done. Not a bad year, just an interesting year that uh, I don't feel we accomplished what we should have or could have or needed to. But I. I'm only going to tell you it's uh, it's different for everybody right now, and uh, we're a nine seed, not the highest seed I've been, not the lowest seed I've been. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to getting to Charlotte. I call Miles right now. Thank you.